We have this tweet from Nikki Freed. She's, of course, a Democrat running uh, for governor in Florida, chairwoman of the Florida Dems. She responded to a, a video we just talked about in a previous segment. Jewish students at Cooper Union College have been locked inside the library for their own safety as a mob of anti-Israeli protesters block the doors. She said this is outrageous. No, those are not Israeli students. <laughs> right. She said this is outrageous and we are seeing these types of videos and stories all over our country. We live in a civil society where this is not only not OK, but illegal. And everyone has a responsibility to stand up against hate speech. Let me also be very clear. Anti-Israel is anti-Semitism. The Democrats are going to be ripped to shreds this election cycle over this issue. Really? You, you really think, think so? so? Absolutely. Nikki Fried is trying to win over Democrat votes in Florida, and she's coming out in defense of Israel. Good luck. Now, a lot of a lot of prominent liberals have have begun to push back on the left. We had uh, and people in pop culture. How, look at the Harvard students who came out. There was there was a blacklist against them because they're 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 pro Hamas. And, and it was not just pro Palestine. It was them calling the Hamas the resistance fighting back. I mean, this is crazy stuff. If you're a Democrat. And you need that 10 to 20 percent of progressive left vote and you are pro-Israel, you've lost it. No question. These people are fervently anti-Israel. There were also 3,000 UK artists who signed a letter yeah. that was basically pro-Palestinian, pro-ceasefire, anti-Israel. It's uh, We were talking about this yesterday. The amount of celebrities I've watched come out and try to find middle ground only to be torn to shreds on both sides has been truly incredible to watch as, uh, what, 3,000 of them signed the letter to Biden two days ago right. that said the that Hollywood please, people, yes, right? the Hollywood people, right? So a lot of those people who are like leftists uh, or at the very least, they vote Democrat all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And they're realizing now just how fractured aspects of the party that they've supported for all these years actually are because they're seeing something they've never seen before. It's like I said earlier, I will never be more amazed at the idea of the people who've been calling people Nazis for four years breaking down <laughs> and doing this. It's absolutely insane. But I just don't think that a lot of the, the celebrities who maybe they, they vote Democrat, but they don't pay super close attention to politics other than orange man bad. Right. They don't really look at it that closely. Maybe they follow their local governor's race or something like that. But they didn't realize if you're not super politically aware, if you're not following what's going on in the news, you wouldn't know this was happening. It's kind of the same way when we were talking a while ago about what was happening in England a couple of years ago when uh, the, the Muslim population was protesting LGBTQ stuff within the school districts. There. That was so fascinating. Right. Yeah, so it, it goes a lot to that same. They don't realize that there is fracture within their audience yeah. because they it's a weird type of uh, well, I, cognitive. That's happened in uh, no, Maryland. I, I think and that's yeah. that's been happening in Canada, too. I think it's because they don't pay attention. So yeah. uh, we have we have this idea. It's a really good idea. It's a game show. Uh, I think we should do it. So maybe we just need to get someone who's going to start setting it up. It's a trivia political trivia game show where we get left versus right and we ask basic topical news questions and then we see who gets the most correct answers maybe a little history maybe a little modern history no, no of course right yeah for sure like I who really built the, Bo yeah. the berlin wall this you know? would be this <laughs> right. would be interesting about, because like what would happen is i think both sides would end like, i'm correct and they would cite their news source which would be cnn and then somebody else would cite another source or they would just citing sources yeah. is, it doesn't yeah. matter the question yeah. uh, that i like to cite is what was the name of the Ukrainian prosecutor fired after Joe Biden threatened to withhold one billion dollars in loan guarantees? Of course, the left is going to say, huh? And the right's going to go, Victor Shokin. <laughs> and it's like, well, another thousand points for or the, right. le the left will just say that didn't happen. And you're like, actually, it did happen. But this, and you'll they, have to explain they, it. They all. No, but you're wrong. You're wrong. So, uh, the, so the lefties won't come on your show because they will not. They will not be confronted with facts. They will. Well, they, they, uh, you know how many times I've tried to but, but get here, people from the left on, oh, uh, on my show? Of course. But my point, I, the point I want to make going back, you know, outside of the, the game show question is Tara Strong, voice actress, very well known, like one of the most famous voice actor to, actresses of our generation, Harley Quinn, mm. Batgirl, Timmy Turner, you name it. Uh, she was very woke and very left, despite the fact the left has been saying for a decade plus, I mean, for a long time that they want to end Israel. Patrice Cullors, 2015, yeah. Black Lives Matter saying, end the imperialist project that is known as Israel. And, and, and she didn't care. She didn't care when people like I or you or any of us said calmly, hey, like this is not, this is not good. You shouldn't support these groups. No, nah, she blocks you. 
She says, screw you. I'm, I'm going to stay in my lane and, and keep getting my paychecks until they attacked, until Hamas massacred a bunch of civilians. And that's part of their doctrine to kill civilians and capture them for as bargaining chips. And when she got mad and tweeted, this is an outrage, they fired her. 